So examples of compassion and nursing, I think you see it every day. I think the trick is actually noticing it and taking notice of it and taking stock of it and enjoying it for what it is. There's one specific example I can think of. Years and years ago I was coming to work and there was a mental health patient outside an emergency department and the security was sort of hovering around the side and I watched a nurse just gently go up and put a hand on, on this gentleman's um, um, and speak to him quietly and he walked away quietly with her and that was a really special way to start the day because I think that actually showed the true compassion um, that people can show to each other as human beings. I was working in aged care in 2001 and I was approached and asked if I would do an enrolled nurses course. I had a fantastic uh, nursing unit manager who encouraged me to um, attend conferences and learn more. I spoke to the nursing unit manager and the allied health. We made a program called the Weekend Warrior and then I took it to the patients. For today, um, we have the Weekend Warrior up and running, been going since 2012. We, I am on the Stroke um, Recovery Committee for New South Wales. I have gone through so many people who inspired me to do the role that I'm in. Most of them, for example, they are nursing unit managers or senior nurses who I work with throughout all these years. One of the aspects that stands out to me is their communication skills and they've been able to provide me with the, the learning uh, opportunity, the guidance to become where I am at the moment. Compassionate care for me as an anaesthetic nurse would be as soon as the patient arrives to me in the bay they are often quite very anxious and scared. Surgery is a really scary thing and I think we start to forget that. So com compassion in that scenario would be something like, you know, maybe that uh, gentle hand or getting a little bit of a laugh out of them or just having that simple conversation and you start to notice the difference when you bring them into the room because they're much more relaxed and it makes it so much easier and they're much more comfortable in the environment just before they go off to sleep and then they're really relaxed. A compassion in nursing to me is part of being a nurse. One example I can give is this lady came up to me with this little baby and she said to me, my mum died on your ward a few years ago and um, you spoke to me about going in to see my mum. I was very angry with her at the time. And I spoke to the daughter that evening and I uh, took her aside and I said, look, I think for your own sake, you should really say goodbye to your mum. Go and talk to her, tell her how you feel. Oftentimes hearing is the last thing to go before a person dies. And I came in the next morning and the lady had passed away overnight and her daughter had been with her when she died. So when I met her at the shopping centre, I remembered her and she said, I'm so happy that you took me aside. You gave me the courage to go and spend time with my mum. I was able to tell her how I felt. I told her I loved her. I was there with her when she died. And she said the best thing of all was um, I'd have been having problems conceiving and about a year after my mum died. I had this little baby. Uh, she said, I think you freed me up and to let go of that hurt so I could move on with my life. So I'm very grateful to you for that. And it was really nice to hear that because we often take things for granted and we don't realise the impact that we have on people when we speak to them. I've been nursing now for I think 35 years so I've been so lucky to have worked with some fabulous leaders. When I first started in drug health services I think that I entered that position with the same stereotypical views as most other people but I think within just a couple of weeks working with the, the team and the clients it was fantastic. You know I just found my niche, I just realised that this was an extraordinary group of people that not, not just the staff but the clients as well that lived under extraordinary circumstances. Our leaders, were, I think they were truly transformational leaders. We were always encouraged to do everything that we wanted to do. We were able to identify gaps, research what needed to be done and encouraged to go and do it. And if it didn't work out, that was okay. One of the things I love about working at Liverpool Hospital is the proactive patient-centred care that the Cancer Therapy Centre promotes. Just recently we've had our end of treatment bell when somebody finishes radiotherapy. There's a big ship's bell and they can ring that and everybody comes out and claps and goes, yay, you finished your treatment. And that was brought about by a bunch of passionate radiotherapists that have got together a group called the Patient Care Group. And we sit and talk about initiatives just to make the journey for that patient a little bit easier. 
The thing that makes me most proud is when I see a nurse going beyond the call of duty to be kind and compassionate to the patients or receiving compliments from patients that let me know that nurses have done that. That, that makes my day. Male uh, role models were very far and few between when I started nursing and one of the, the greatest leaders I, I found was one of the, the lecturers at university who could change a topic and make it humorous. We'd want to learn the topic and you could utilise his actual movements to patients you see the whole time through. So he, he made learning fun. So I, I try to incorporate that in my own teachings. Yeah. To me, when I think about compassionate care, it's about how we listen to our patients, how we take time to hear their concerns, maybe just to ask a family member if they're doing okay. I also think about when I've received compassionate care myself, when I was a, a friend of mine was dying in hospital, and the care shown by the nurses really helped my friend Ali die um, with dignity. It helped the family and the friends cope with that really, really difficult journey. As nurses, if we can give that compassionate care to patients and families, if as humans we can receive compassionate care, uh, look, we can make the world a better place. Yeah, one of the best bits of advice I've been given is to, to really listen and to not just listen with your ears but to listen with your eyes and to listen with your body. Showing someone that you listen can be one of the most effective ways to show them that you care about them. One of my first nuns, Rebecca Doran, she was very inspirational for me because um, I was only a third year RN and she saw that, you know, I could aspire into a leadership role and even though we had lots of senior staff members on the ward, CNSs and, and people that are RNAs, she saw potential in me and she, saw, she gave me the opportunity to be able to be an acting nun. She had really good ideas about how to make changes on the ward which was really, really inspiring because I think watching her, how she used to lead has taught me how to be a leader, a good leader and, and a nun in, in the current role I'm in. I'm fortunate enough to have worked with some amazing midwifery leaders in my career at Campbelltown and I think what sets them apart from the others is their almost innate ability to articulate um, a vision which brings a team together. We're there for the same purpose, focusing on the women, which I think is important for midwifery because I guess midwifery's core business is empowering women and I think to be able to empower women and their families, you need to feel empowered yourself. So those effective leaders have been amazing um, and nursing leaders, not just midwifery at Campbelltown. Inspirational leadership to me was actually provided someone who's more junior than myself. So we uh, recently had a new grad um, who came to my ward and completely changed just by his actions with patients. The way that he could speak to them was amazing for a new grad and um, the perspective he gave them you know, to take time in emergency and sit down and just talk to people really changed their, their perception. I think that's inspirational leadership. An example of compassion in nursing from a community perspective is the way the nurse-patient relationship works. There's patients in the community that can be difficult, but the way that the nurse takes a step back and tries to overcome what the barriers are, regardless of their professional role, has been something that's inspired me to try and be compassionate in that sense. I think the most important piece of advice is always to put yourself in the patient's shoes. Imagine what it's like to be in that bed surrounded by people that are telling you what is going on and what's happening and loss of control. It's very disempowering to be that person so remembering that and being able to adjust your care to cater for that is one of the most important things. Compassionate care to me is an example of that was I was working in intensive care and my role on that particular night was to withdraw on a patient and she died you know sometime in the morning early hours of the morning and the husband had said to me you know he's got a 10 year old daughter and he wanted to know whether or not she should come in. I said to him you know I can't make that decision for you um, I said I'm going to spend some time with your wife now but um, you know go away and think about it and come back and anyway while he was away I made sure that I'd I'd cleaned down the area I dressed her in um, something that he'd brought in um, I changed the linen to reflect like a bedroom got rid of all the hospital equipment and um, when he came back in and saw her he was so moved that you know she looked so peaceful and and so rested that he decided to bring his 10 year old daughter in and that still stayed with me today and I think to myself um, that what a, what a job you're in to be able to give somebody that gift. 
it's a true story where you say you don't just look after the, the patient, you look after the, the family. My advice in mental health nursing is that you not only look at the patient, but you also need to look at the family and the caregiver. They are an important role in the care of the patient and the successful treatment of the patient. Not discard them, not push them to the side, but incorporate them in every aspect of their care. Compassionate nursing care would be able to guide a patient and their families and their carers through the end stages of their lives and through their disease process to be able to spend that time with them and educate them and support them through the processes. For me that's an honour and a privilege and I really feel that that's the basis of good compassionate nursing care. Best piece of advice I've ever been given is to treat your patients as you would like to be treated with respect and respecting their wishes. I've got an example from when I was an AIN uh, working on the rehab ward and there was an older woman who had asked not to be put into a diaper. She wanted to be you know, toileted as she would normally be toileted at home. And I thought of my, my grandmother and my mum and thought, well, I wouldn't like them sitting in a nappy, even though it was convenient for the nurses, and I was one of the nurses, it was, it was more convenient to have them sitting in a diaper, but better for her to be toileted and, and to be treated with a bit of respect. Compassion of uh, care for me is when working with the consumers who have lost hope within themselves and the families have lost hope in them. They achieve their rehab goals and walk through our doors. Uh, to live a normal life back in the community with dignity and hope is the best thing we ever do on a day-to-day -day basis. My first experience and my example that I um, think about best in compassionate care was the first time I worked in a detox unit in drug and alcohol and a nurse took me aside and said let's go and have a chat with this patient. The patient was very guarded, very apprehensive being the first time he's been there before. At that moment I just thought oh I don't know if I want to be here but the nurse was with me and she was just so respectful of the patient despite his him being so guarded she went in with no judgments of the patient and we sat there for probably a good half an hour just talking with him and listening to his to his story and i think without that kind of compassion respect and non-judgmental approach that she had we would have not being able to break down a barrier. I'm a navigator at Campbelltown and I spend a lot of time walking around the wards and I see how the nurses work every day and particularly I have noticed since being back on the wards is the way that confused and um, you know the more difficult patients are treated. They use strategies to um, deal with the patients but it's always done with compassion. The way that they speak to the patients is very respectful and um, they're really gentle with the way that they try to handle them. The bottom line is to keep the patient safe and staff safe and I think they really do a tremendous job. Uh, I started back nursing in 1991 and I was an AIN at, out at Carrington and I had to meet with the assistant director of nursing at that time and she was fantastic and she said to me Lynette there's two pieces of advice I'd give you starting your nursing career. The first one is to always look after yourself. Yourself is always number one otherwise you can't care for others. And the second one is be the nurse that you want to care for you if you were ever a patient. And I've always taken that advice on. Uh, I feel very fortunate to be working in the South West Sydney Local Health District. Every day I'm seeing nurses who have great clinical expertise and are very innovative. But beyond that, beyond treating just the symptoms or the disease, they're very focused on empathy and compassion towards the person that they're caring for. And I'm also seeing leaders who are trying to foster a culture in their staff that is collaborative and inclusive and, and participatory. And I think the future is very positive for nursing in the South West Sydney Local Health District and I'm glad to be a part of it.